What's going on guys? I am the Walrus Jedi and welcome to another book review. In today's video it will be Tales of the Empire, a short story collection. This book is a collection of short stories about the Empire. These stories were picked from the Star Wars Adventure Journal and this uh, collection of stories was edited by Peter Zweihofer. It was published by Bantam Spectra and released November of 1997 and the stories take place between 5 BBY or Before the Battle of Yavin to 10 ABY or 10 years after the Battle of Yavin. So if you like the so if you like these kinds of videos then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more. There will be spoilers and one last thing instead of a out of 10 score for these stories, I will be giving these stories a, an either a thumbs up or um, what I'm calling a middle thumb or a thumbs down. So the first story is First Contact by Timothy Zahn, which takes place 8 ABY. Talon Card travels to Veranat to investigate Marodin hunting safaris run by an Akish Gamgalon. Whilst on one of these safaris, Card uncovers the Marodin are sentient and a peaceful species, and the smuggler stops Gamgalon with the aid of Mara Jade in this whole thing. So, And he offers her to join his crew, and she accepts. Uh, I'm going to give that story a thumbs up. 2. Tinian on Trial by Kathy Tears. 1. BBY. On the industrial planet of Druckenwell, Tinian Iat tests out Iat Armament's armor protective field for Moff Eisen Karioth. Being the typical scumbag Imperial, Moff Karioth kills Tinian's grandparents to make off with the protective field as his own discovery. Tinian flees and gets aid in hiding and getting off the planet. 3. The Final Exit by Patricia A. Jackson, 5 BBY. A Dalric Brandle, a Dark Jedi, I believe, goes back to his homeworld, and then he enters Imperial service again. Thumbs down. 4. Missed Chance by Michael A. Stackpole, 6 ABY. On Garki, Corrin Horn, disguised as Eamon Izali, aids rebels, but needs to flee as he can no longer use the Eamon Izali disguise, and Horn decides to join the New Republic after this. Thumbs up. 5. Retreat from Coruscant by Laurie Burns, 10 ABY. During an Imperial blockade of Coruscant, during the uh, Thrawn incident, I guess you could call it, General Garmbel Iblis recruits Terran Clancy of the Cora Courier Service to deliver a message to the New Republic Defense Fleet about the invasion and all that. Uh, middle thumb. 6. A Certain Point of View by Charlene Newcomb. 0 BBY. Celia Darasha, a lieutenant on the luxury liner Quarry Princess, reacquaints with her, I guess, former boyfriend, Adion Lang, who she knew when she was a kid, and who was on the ship to arrest Dentian Khalil as a suspected weapon smuggler for the Rebellion. Thumbs down. 7. Blaze of Glory by Tony Russo. 9 ABY. Baxi Ergo joins a mercenary team, and their mission is to eliminate a Karazak slaver cooperative stronghold on Gabrador 3. Thumbs down. 8. Slaying Dragons by Angela Phillips, 3 ABY. At the Kuat Driveyards, Shannon Vurson aids her cousin Dean, who is a rebel, in getting parts for the rebellion. Thumbs down. 9. Do No Harm by Aaron Endem, 2 ABY. Aaron Lath, a doctor, is part of a team to infiltrate a Selrush Imperial Detention Center and rescue Gebneret Vibrian, a rebellion leader. 10. Side Trip. Parts 1 and 4 are by Timothy Zahn, and parts 2 and 3 are by Michael A. Stackpole. And this whole story is set in 2 ABY. Haber Trail and Moraine Darmy, who are traitors by trade. <laughs> are captured whilst smuggling arms for the New Republic. 
They are to help Jodo Cast, who is really Thrawn, posing as the bounty hunter. On Corellia, they are joined by Hal and Corrin Horn, who are working for Corsac, or basically their Corellian cops, to bring down notorious scumbag Zekathine to justice. Thrawn's plan leads to the discovery of the rebel base at Dara 4. This also leads to Thrawn getting the Nogri. Thumbs up. All right. The three I liked. Uh, you've got Side Trip, which is, you know, the big four-part story. Yeah, it's it's just good. It's, you know, it's Timothy Zahn and Michael Stackpole, so yeah. Then you have First Contact, which is the Talon Card story. And Missed Chance, which is the Corrin Horn story. So I felt like those are the best of the, the lot. And then the three I didn't like, Slaying Dragons, which I just felt like was kind of dumb. A Certain Point of View... And the final exit. This, geez, these, uh, yeah, I just didn't enjoy them very much. Well, that is the, uh, the review of, uh, Tales of the Empire, you know, the anthology of stories. Let me know what you thought of these stories in the comment section down below. Um, which one's your favorite and which one's your least favorite? Right now, you can watch on the top left my review of Tales of the Bounty Hunters. And on the bottom left, uh, my review of Tales from Jabba's Palace. And, uh, yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.